Hey everyone, what's going on? It's been quite a long time, but anyway, I'm bringing you a tutorial on the GTA 5 uh, trainer. It was only released a couple of days ago. I found out about it, uh, tested it out, and it is pretty good. This does work in single player, although some stuff does carry over to multiplayer. So say, if you turn on a couple of the options, um, you can't actually use this in multiplayer, but it will carry over to multiplayer. So nothing like money or anything you can use on multiplayer, but you can use um, things such as uh, speed walk, and uh, that's about it. There's a few others, um, but I'm not going to go into detail since you'll probably find them out for yourself. Anyway, um, link will be in description slash on screen. Um, just here, we'll go to, oh, wrong one. Right, if you come to this page, this will be in the description. Pretty much, um, this website is made for GTA 5 mods, so I'd keep looking on this website since, as you can see, this was only uploaded four days ago from the release of this video. Um, pretty much, I'll go through to how to install it, which is pretty simple, and then I'll just give it a quick show in game. So, pretty much, you just want to click download. This is now opened on my second monitor, it will take you to this site itself. Pretty much, now you've come to this site, you just want to click the download button again. This will then download it into your downloads folder. I've already got it on my desktop. So as you can see, you'll get this folder here. You just want to go here and just extract it. It's going to pop over here for me. Right, so if we go into this folder, we've got a little readme file. It's just pretty much installation and then what you can do in the actual mod itself. Right, so we just want to head over into bin. So as you can see, we've got these three files. Really simple. All you want to do is navigate to your GTA 5 uh, online folder. If you have this in, on Steam, I believe you can run into some difficulties, but all you need to do is just go to your uh, Steam apps directory. Um, I have a link for it here, so you go to program files, Steam, Steam apps, and then comment, and then all your games will be in here. I don't have it through Steam, I actually bought it on when it released, so I bought it through Rockstar. Um, and yeah, anyway. So what I'm going to do is just right click file location and as you can see it goes to my E drive because I've got an SSD for boot and then my, so my secondary drive which is 2TB which holds all my programs. So all I go is to all programs and I go to my program files, Rockstar, Grand Theft Auto 5 and then here it is. So all I want to do is just move that over here. I just want to drag these, drag these over, move in, move all of them. I'll just click move and replace for the time being. As you can see they've all gone into here now. So just going to close that down, close that down, and then we'll launch GTA. So pretty much this will launch, it's pretty much one of the easiest mods I've ever installed for something. Um, simple drag and drop, and it um, doesn't seem to affect any performance issues or anything, and you can do quite a lot in it. So pretty much why this loads, I will speed this bit up. So, alright, we're loading in now. I haven't played too much of the story since I completed this on PS3 when it first came out. Um, so yeah, pretty much, as you can see, we're in the game now. Alright, standard, standard game, and all you want to do is hit F4, there we go. And then, if you're on a keyboard, um, like a normal extended keyboard, you just want to go over to your um, keypad, uh, where you've got numlock, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and all you want to do is to navigate, it's 5 to enter, and then backspace to go back, and then 8 is up, 2 is down, and it's pretty simple. So yeah, as you can see, if I go to player, I can then go to add cache, it's pretty simple. So as you can see, it's going up, put it level up, so there we go, I put it down, pretty simple, go invincible, fast swim, fast run, super jump. Pretty self explanatory, really. Weapons, you can get all the weapons so that now if I hold tab, as you can see, I've now got all the guns, all the weapons that I want. Um, so, yeah, so I'd definitely go check this out. Um, there seems to be there's a few mods starting to be added now, since there is quite a few on there. I mean, there's not loads, but there are quite a few. Let 
there we go. So yeah, so that's a sick jump. Uh, you do have everything else such as like time, Daytime, so it's pretty good if you just want to, you know, play normally. Um, and yeah, exactly. If the weather's a bit annoying as well, you can make it clear. Yeah. It is pretty good, man, really. And then if you want to make videos or something, you can hide the HUD, which I think is pretty good, really. Um, sometimes you want to get some uh, cinematic shots. So yeah, so um, I definitely go recommend this mod, um, nice and simple, there are a few other mods that I might be reviewing, so I might be showing off how to install that sort of stuff, if you have any ones you want me to install to show you, um, let me know and I'll get it done, um, but yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, if you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll try